Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on the Nintendo Labo, a new line of interactive build and play experiences that Nintendo intends to inspire kids and those that are kids at heart, at least according to their press release. And in that press release, we actually have a lot more details on what the Nintendo Labo is all about. So just a sheer sense of how exactly it functions, because while the trailer is pretty cool, it doesn't really go into detail about how this all works. So for example, you can build a functioning 13 key piano that brings your musical creations to life once the Nintendo Switch console and right Joy-Con controller are inserted. As you play, the IR motion camera in the right Joy-Con detects which keys are pressed and translates them into unique notes that are heard through the console. And it does the same sort of functionality with the other configurations. So these cardboard based creations are called Toy Cons and they will launch on April 20th with two kits, the Variety Kit and the Robot Kit. In the Variety Kit, which costs $70, you get the Toy Con RC car, the Toy Con fishing rod, the Toy Con house, the Toy Con motorbike, and the Toy Con piano, each one allowing you to do various things with that object, and even teaching kids how they functionally work. Then there's the Robot Kit, which is $80, and it only includes the Toy Con robot, which allows you to create a wearable robot suit and insert the left and right Joy-Con into the designated slots on the backpack and visor to assume control of the robot, which is then shown on the TV when the Nintendo Switch console is docked. This mode actually allows kids to destroy in-game buildings and use UFOs as we saw during the trailer. And in addition to those, there's also going to be a $10 customization set that includes stencils, stickers, and colored tape. So yeah, it's pretty pricey, it's up there in cost, but the functionality of it and what it allows kids to do along with their Switch is pretty interesting. It's almost a kind of edutainment where the kids get to play around with these kind of toys, but in the process they also learn how they work. And it seems like a pretty cool idea. But of course we'll have more to say about that soon as we're getting ready to record our discussion on the Nintendo Labo, so be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on that and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye!